Hi, I'm Ephraim Smits. As the youngest in the family of 16 children, I was born into the Christian faith and profound history. My father was a pastor from Latvia who was exiled in the 1970s with his then family of 11 children. Canada became a refuge and it was where I was born. Growing up with a pure heart and a heart full of wonder, I yearned to follow in my father's footsteps to be a pastor. But society around me made me doubt my calling. They said, it's only because your father is a pastor. Yet in my heart, I sensed God's nudge. He, I believe, had plans for me. With Latvia's freedom restored, our family restored, returned to our homeland. My father, with much grace, took up the mantle as the Bishop of the Baptist Union. He devoted a decade of his life to the Salvation Temple in Riga, which had once witnessed an outpouring of faith in the 1920s and 30s. Meanwhile, I studied theology at Spurgeon's in London, but like a curious child, I soon got distracted, enticed by the vastness of the world and its endless possibilities. I became that proverbial lost sheep. Then China beckoned me, and I left my faith and flew to China and immersed myself in the glamour and glitter of the film advertising world. As an executive producer for 10 years, I produced cinematic dreams for brands like Nike, BMW, Audi, and almost virtually all the car commercials you can imagine. But the more I climbed this ladder of worldly success, the deeper the spiritual abyss within me grew. Then Vietnam, with its bustling streets and historic charm, was the next chapter. In Hanoi, it was when I heard God's soft whisper again. It was during my venture of establishing a new magazine that the weight of my lost path bore down on me. And like a desperate plea for a lifeline, I stepped into the Hanoi International Fellowship Church. The melodious hymns, singing praises to Jesus, ones I had not heard in years, were a balm to my restless soul. Pastor Jacob, a shepherd in the truest sense, reached out to me, guiding me back into the fold week after week. Life, in its unpredictable manner, through another curveball. In May 2020, my anchor, my father, passed away. But before he did, I shared with him my newfound resolution to throw off my selfish life and to dive deep into Bible study. Be with wisdom, suggested a Bible school in the United States. And so, with two suitcases and a heart full of hope, I left Vietnam for Summit, David Wilkerson's Bible school in the United States even as the world was hit with a pandemic. But two transformative years later, a clear call led me back to Latvia. The Salvation Temple Church, seeing a renewed spirit, offered me, invited me to be their pastor. And so today, I'm here in Latvia, aiding in the restoration of both the church's ministries and its building. Praise God. I ask you to remember me in your prayers. I offer my gratitude for HIF, for your continued support, and for also Pastor Jacob, and above, above all, our Good Shepherd. Let us never underestimate the power of prayer, nor assume someone's too far gone for our Shepherd. In His boundless love, we'll always leave the 99 to seek the lost one. Never stop praying.